going on everyone? Welcome to another very exciting episode right here on the My Gardener channel. I am so excited because today we're going to be harvesting potatoes from our, potato, our container potatoes here. Now these potatoes were planted uh, at least three or four months ago. They still are green but um, they've stopped growing, they've stopped flowering and I've really got to, uh, to get some potatoes for our meals because we are, we're completely out of potatoes and uh, and instead of going to the store, I figured why not start harvesting our potatoes. So the ones in the beds are starting to wind down. These ones are, uh, are purple potatoes, I do know that. So these ones um, are a little bit uh, longer, you know, prolonged, so they'll be more like new potatoes. But I gotta get some and I wanna see what we're going to get. So I'm gonna harvest today all these potatoes. And these were also the potatoes that were planted out in the How to Plant Potatoes in Containers uh, episode. So for those of you that have been asking for an update, Here's your update. Uh, so many of you have said, how are those potatoes doing? Or have you harvested them? Or you know, have you gotten anything? Or know if you're going to get anything at all? I said, you have to wait for the video because I don't even know what we're going to get. That's what's always fun about growing potatoes is it's under the soil. So the tops can look great and I've had them look awesome before and you harvest them and there's nothing. So uh, it'll be really fun. So let's get the wheelbarrow and I'm gonna harvest them out. And uh, I know I'm gonna get this question about what we're going to do with the soil. The soil is simply going to be repurposed into some of our raised beds that need a top off. So um, I never worry about throwing the soil out. People are always wondering, you know, oh, what about disease? Well, the fact of the matter is our potatoes aren't diseased. So if my potatoes were showing some serious signs of disease, I might think about using it elsewhere, like in a yard in a low patch or something. But because the potatoes aren't diseased, I have nothing to worry about. So, all right, that's what we're gonna do with that. And uh, so let's go, let's see what we got. All right, so from the first container here, uh, we are going to be harvesting just a single plant. Um, we had three and five gallon containers. So in a five gallon container, I planted three, uh, three potato sets. And in a three gallon container, I planted one potato set. So this is going to be just one, uh, one plant. So it's gonna be really interesting to see what we're going to get. And um, I'm gonna break these off here so it's less, less to, to mess around with. And all the tops are gonna get added to the compost pile as well. Again, because there's no disease on them, I'm going to simply uh, throw them in the compost pile to, to add food back to my, my future plants. Let's see what we got. Oh man, it's hard to... Oh, they're falling out already. I know we got potatoes. Whoa, this is incredible. This is incredible. So, oh my gosh, whoa. So check this out. So I know we've got two, three. Ooh, there's the seed potato right there, yuck. Four, five, holy smokes, this is incredible. Remember all we did was fertilize, the only thing fertilizing this was just trifecta. We planted this in ProMix straight pro mix and trifecta and that is all we used and this was one one tiny seed potato that we put in here that yielded so far all of this so i got a bucket here some smaller ones and uh the nice thing about potatoes is that no matter the size, they're still edible. So even if they're small like this, those are actually the best eating size right there. Those are great. All right, here comes the next plant here. Let's see what we got. Oh, they're falling out. Whoa, this is gonna be an even better one. This is gonna be an even better harvest than, uh, than the other bag. Wow, oh my gosh, this is incredible. Quite the, uh, quite the haul here. Oh my goodness, wow. This is a, a ton better. And um, same thing, you know, just trifecta and pro mix was what was used. And um, that's incredible, wow. They're still coming, all right, get out of here. Oh man, that's the thing about these, these uh, smart pots that I really love is that they, they allow the, the roots to, to air prune, so they have a much healthier root system but the downside is that makes harvesting a tiny bit difficult. All 
All right, and here is the final container. This one is the, the five gallon plant, uh, pot. And this has got three of, this had three of the, the potato sets that I put in there. So let's see what we got from this one. If the first two were any indication, it's going to be pretty epic. All right, so as you can see, about a half a bucket. I'd say this is, this is easily probably 10, 12 pounds. So not bad at all for, I mean, for goodness, three containers. I, uh, I say that's pretty good. So I'm really, really pleased with this harvest. Obviously, uh, could it have been better? Um, possibly. I think one thing that I could have done was let the potatoes go just a tiny bit longer. Um, but, you know, for this size, uh, the purple potatoes don't get very big. Um, also, it could have been watered a lot more frequently. Here in Michigan, we've had some super, super uber dry weather, and that has definitely contributed to some of the plants in the garden being stressed. So it'll be interesting to see what we get from our raised bed, which actually got probably less water than these did. But uh, that's what happens. You know, sometimes you just have to roll with the punches and, and work with what Mother Nature gives you. But still, for 10, 12 pounds of potatoes that I basically planted about maybe one pound of seed potatoes, if that, there were just three, uh, or uh, there was four, no, five, <laughs> five small little seed potatoes about well, about that big. So five of these yielded 10, 12 pounds. I'd say that's pretty, pretty remarkable for a return on my investment. So I hope you all enjoyed. I hope you learned something new. I really hope that you will try growing potatoes in containers. It's just a great way to uh, extend your, uh, you just extend your garden without having to build more raised beds. Um, if you're someplace that you can't build raised beds, it allows you to still grow food for your family. And uh, so much can be grown in containers. So I'd recommend checking out our container growing guide series. We have a whole series on growing in containers um, and, and how to grow in containers. And I really hope that you will check that out because it's a, it's a wonderful resource to add. Even if you already have a garden, as you can see, we grew these uh, and it was just a, an awesome uh, addition to our garden because now, now we got 12 pounds of potatoes that we never would have had. So I hope you all enjoyed. I hope you learned something new. This is Luke from the MI Gardener channel reminding you to grow big or go home. Like this video if you enjoyed it. And we'll catch you all on the next episode. All right, see ya. Bye.